welcome back to the Divas Caramel channel and I'm here today to do a kind of accent tie but with a little twist okay so um, not knocking the accent ties that are going around but just like I just think it's not quite doing it justice to our accent and our dialect when we just read the words because we can read English so it's just like we talk dialect but we can read English so I just wanted to come and do it with a little twist yeah so just to start with some English words I'm gonna say the English words and then I'm gonna say how we would say in the Bajan dialect okay so first is crayons we usually say colors something we say sign going we say going tomorrow we say tomorrow water water we say water if you say for the English word excited, we usually say fussy. Um, for we say for. This we say this as a D A S. And for probably or must be, we say must. For little we say little. Okay, so I'm gonna just read the English sentence and and then say in the Bajan dialect so you can on grasp it a little bit more. So. The English sentence would be tomorrow I am going to collect something from town. We would say tomorrow again, town to get things. Another English sentence would be can I have a little water please? And we would say I want a little water please. Okay, just a few questions and um, that I wrote down. A couple was from the actual tag and then just some that I made up on my own so y'all can grasp a little bit more about here. Okay, so what we call the tram, the public transportation here, we usually say the transport board bus, our bus, or we say minibus, which is a smaller bus to the bus, and then ZR, which is the smallest of all. Okay, and okay, and like bus fare here was like one fifty for a long time, but now it's like two dollars, and two dollars to like get you anywhere unless you have to take another bus, but it's usually just like two buses. Two buses will take you anywhere. The most we need is one, but in rare occasions we need two. Okay, and what we call a bubbly carbonated drink, we call it a soft drink. What we call drink shoes, we call them soft wares. A small supermarket in the neighborhood, we call it a shop or a mini market. Okay, so just a few facts about Barbados as well. Our national dish is cuckoo and flying fish, whereas cuckoo is like a cornmeal and the oak crisp. And you could steam the flying fish, or you could fry the flying fish and do like a tomato gravy, tomato and onion gravy, anything along that line. Um, then the rum of Barbados, <laughs> okay, is Mogay rum. Um, it's a well known rum oh, and it's one of the best brands of rum in the world. Yeah, so and then our beer also is the Banks beer that's also a very well known beer around the world. Our main crop is sugarcane and our main festival is Crop Over Festival. So we celebrate um, Crop Over Festival when the crop is over, when the sugarcane crop is, is over and we usually dress in costumes, there's a lot of collection music, a lot of partying, a lot of walking up as a lot of people know we bathing like to walk up, okay? So a lot of that is going on, a lot of sexy costumes, okay? And yeah, so that's what we do and we usually jump from one thing to another in our costumes celebrating crop over, okay? And, and then there's 11 parishes and all except two have beaches and the two parishes that don't have beaches is St. Thomas and St. George. There, okay, but all the other parishes have some beautiful beaches, and yeah, so we have some beautiful beaches here. And also, another little thing here is we have stamp plates, so we'll find stamp plates in almost every parish, every neighborhood, okay. And that was like back in the day, a lot of households didn't have um, running water and stuff like that, so they usually go to the stamp plate and get water and bring it back home, but that's not. You don't have to do that anymore. Almost every household has running water now, but the samples are still there. Um, some are not working. I'm not sure, but the majority still might be working because if they have a hurricane or anything like that, and the plate goes off, so 
whatever reason, you know, damages to whatever, we can get water, for example, and catch the water and you bring Okay? And that's this here. And what I would, what I would say like most about Barbados is we are really friendly people. Yeah, we are very friendly. Well, for the most part, okay? And usually you speak to everybody when you pass people on the street say hi hello you know how you doing if you know the person or whatever they have to say your mother or your mother or your father or your brother or your sister yeah so he says get crazy or your kids you know how they're doing at school you know so yeah we are really friendly people and even in one of my vlogs like, you could check it out the postman even when it was walking down the street postman blocked me yeah the postman you know so it's just how it is you know it's a small island and People try to be friendly and stuff like that. And then it's extremely peaceful considering a lot of the drama and stuff that I see happening on the internet over the world. We're very peaceful and um, it can be here and my door can be open. And when I say open, I don't mean on law, I mean open, void open. And you know, and nobody comes and hear you. I mean, it could happen, it could happen on rare occasions, but. You know, for the most part, it's very, very peaceful, and they love that. Um, the kids go so home from school on their own, and you know, once they're a certain age, they can walk home from school on their own, and you would guarantee that they'll get home in, you know, in one piece, and they won't be kidnapped and stuff like that. You know, a lot of crazy things are happening all over the world, so it's very good that here it's so very, very peaceful for the most part. And then what I hate most is the cost of living. Cost of living is too high and the bills, like the water bill, everything high, supermarket bill high. It's crazy. They're killing me. But we will survive. We usually do business. We usually do. And then I don't really like the heat. Like, for now, I'm really, really hot. And it won't run the fan because we're here the buzzing. But it's really, really hot. And I mean, like, thank God for the sun and everything. But just so very heated and I just don't like it sometimes but thank God for this one and then the mosquitoes they mess with your skin you don't really like them and they make you sick yeah so what we you in certain palette I totally hate them so that's basically it for the side I hope you like it big up every bit in the in the world okay and all the Beijing YouTubers, hello, and yeah, that's basically it. So, I want to tag anyone that wants to do it. This is not the original tag, it just did my own little space so you can understand a little bit more about Barbados and a little bit more about our language, our dialect. Um, we read English well, but we don't speak it well on a day to day basis, you know. But we are taught English in school and we know how to write it for the most part and know how to speak it properly for the most part but just we speak based on that and that's just how we do it over here yeah so that's basically it i'll see you in my other video thanks for watching thumbs up leave any comments of all the videos everywhere in the world leave comments down below make up yourself you can say where you are if you're in the us if you're in england if you're wherever you know yeah one love like, Okay, just gonna uh, uh, ask a few questions. I'm just gonna ask a few questions and I'll answer them so you can find out a little bit more about here as well. So, what we call public transportation? What we call public transportation? What, what we call public transportation here is we call it transport word.